What I love about our community is that it's a really safe environment. Like it's not one of those communities where you have to like watch who's walking behind you. I love how open it is and how friendly it is. And that's kind of my favorite thing about Strathcona County that I think is different from other places is how many things there are to do and how many people you can meet. Role models are important to anyone, whether you're youth, child, or even adults. A lot of role models do in my life is treat you not like a youth, but treat you like a person, which I think is a big difference. We all need somebody to talk to so we don't end up in bad situations, and if we are, then we need to be able to ask somebody for help. It gives them somebody that they can go to for advice. It gives them something that it makes them think about what they want to be in life and how they want their life to run. The role models in my life are my grandpa, my dad, my parents, my other grandma, older cousin Cheyenne, and then like the teachers and the like people I volunteered with. I'm homeschooled so it's not teachers for sure. It's like I look up to them and aspire to be like them. He always is um, encouraging me to do to be the best that I can be. I think my dance teacher Angela growing up was one of my best role models. I also had this one janitor in junior high. Um, she had to do all the stuff that nobody else wanted to do, right? Like cleaning up. Music is one of my favorite things probably in life. <laughs> There's a lot of bands that I look up to. Um, Sleeping with Sirens, Pierce the Veil. My favorite band, uh, Skillet. They've, I've been a fan of them for, wow, I don't even know, seven years now. The bands, they know about a lot of stuff and they have a lot of inspirational things in their songs. A lot of their songs teach about hope and not giving up. What stresses me out is probably school. 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 <laughs> and like getting enough sleep causes a lot of stress. Balancing my sports at the same time. And like drama with relationships that they just think they have so much on their plate and they get so stressed out. And that's most of the reason why some teenagers have attitude. Drama in school is a big one. I try to avoid it as much as possible. But also facing like peer pressure. There's a lot of peer pressure in the county and in other places for like drugs and alcohol. Uh, I think part of that is because, you know, there's not really a lot of options. Finding a job and just trying not to fit into this, trying not to get into the stereotype of being bad, but you know, also being unique as they are as a person. So some people go through like their parents divorcing or something really bad is happening in their family that they just need someone to talk to. I've talked to people that are like, I want to commit suicide. There's nothing left for me here, and uh, I guess conveying the fact that ending your life and all that. It, it's not going to uh, solve your problems. It's just going to make people around you that love you just sad and broken. Growing up with a family who is incredibly conservative, then possibly finding out that I'm gay, yeah, that would have been not so good. And after a few suicide attempts, also that also was a huge factor of me moving up here. Maybe the issue of cutting for teenagers today and eating disorders for teenagers today because the more I think teenagers need to deal with that, the less it is talked about and the less we know information about it. I was bullied for, man, since elementary school. Uh, you know, I got teased a lot, I got put down, I got judged, I had really bad acne. Bullying isn't really that amazing in that it's still around but it is and it, it's a struggle to uh, um, hear those words said to you or uh, text or Facebook or whatever.
I know that there are some outlets in Strathcona County for like mental health, but honestly, I am not completely sure how you would find information on mental health. I know FCS Family and Community Services actually offers a lot of programs, and I would I'd probably have to like Google them or find posters or something to know. I think if I ever needed support for anything, my first choice would be my parents. I usually talk to my dad or um, just try to work it out at school. Well, I created my own family, basically, and FCS and Youth Council, and a lot of people happen to be a part of it. Like two years ago, I was really self-conscious and didn't have a lot of friends and went and I got a volunteer position at the Strathcona Wilderness Centre and I felt like that was like a family. I mean, I've learned that blood does not make family. And I think for me that was the hardest lesson to learn. I'd probably go to one of my teachers at school because I do feel safe there. There's also like the school counsellors are really great. And then I also really like to just like goof around with my friends and like play games and stuff. You can go to any gym in here um, and, and exercise, play. I swim here all the time because I love swimming. Swimming and working out and like being outside a lot. Uh, yoga, I, I do yoga um, and that is definitely stress relieving. One of the ways that I cope through uh things that I go through is uh, I'm a really big gamer and uh, I've been gaming for years now but uh, obviously music and gaming has always been I guess an escape for me. I like to draw because um, it's relaxing for one thing if I'm feeling stressed for whatever reason. Does faith play a role in my life? Uh, yeah it does. It, uh, it, it gives me the strength to go on and the way I cope is I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. And I just kind of listen to music and sit in a quiet place. And that usually calms me down and helps me get through it. Being online has like become a thing. I spend a lot of time on it. Tumblr, Facebook, Snapchat, Kick. I like to go on Twitter and think, see what my favorite celebrities are doing and like catch up on what's going on in the world. I like going on Instagram and seeing what my friends are doing. Some role models also for my life are uh, YouTubers and some people like that are people like Tyler Oakley or uh, Hannah Hart. YouTubers are probably Dan's not on fire because he's just, he's British, he's got dimples and he's just funny. Because I'm part of that community, you feel like you're part of something bigger. There's always the, on the internet, the negatives about like who you should be and how the society makes you feel. Like models are always tall, pretty, perfect. And you kind of feel that you need to be that perfect, but then you have to realize that you can't and you have to be happy with who you are and what you do with your life. Somehow, the county needs to do a better job of getting, letting youth know that those services are available to them. There's like nowhere for youth to go and just like hang out. Like if you go to the mall, oftentimes you're looked at funny by like security. And if you go to Millennium, like you have to kind of be doing something and there's nowhere for you to just go like sit and talk. Something I'd like to see more in the community is more youth friendly businesses or more places that, you know, teens could hang out. I have friends that have depression and they're like bipolar and stuff, but they can't really help that. Um, but things that could benefit them is like people not judging them just because they have it. They might look like sort of punkish, but it might actually be really nice. You don't know. Don't judge a book by its cover. Hmm. If I could change one thing for youth, um, I'd probably have more open gym style things. Like I would a dodgeball game at whatever time or volleyball or basketball. If I could say one thing is that uh, to uh, talk to your teenager and uh, ask them how their school life is or how they think their life is at home. A lot of parents have to drive their kids somewhere, go to work at the same time. I feel like it would be cool to have more transportation around 
Um, I think getting to some key places, I think more routes should go there, like the mall and the community centre and Millennium. Because for those who don't have a car or those who can't afford one, it's a good way to get around and it gives you some of that independence back. So my hopes for the future of Strathcona County is for some things to stay the same, like this family-orientated, nice, caring environment, but I think there also needs to be maybe more geared toward youth. A healthy community is supportive, they're caring. Has more compassion for each other. Somewhere positive and encouraging that likes to tell me to keep going even if I'm down. It would be a place where like most of the neighbors know each other and they'd be welcoming to somebody who was new and moved in. Community where like there's a lot of balance and opportunity and it's feels safe to to ask questions and talk about stuff they don't agree with. If to me it would be a good health care, education and fast transport. Where everything's available for almost everyone. Hashtag deep. <laughs>